All right, we're going to look at the following operations. We're going to create a common delimited string, and we're going to convert it to a list. Then I'm going to convert the list to a tuple. That's our plan. So let's create our string. X equals quotes USA, comma, Canada, comma, England. Close quotes. What type of data is X? It's a class string. Next thing I want to do is I want to split that apart and put that up, put that into a list. So I'm going to say Y equals take X, which is a string, and split it up wherever you see a comma. And implicitly, it will put it into a list. I don't have to specifically say that. It will implicitly do that. And it assigned that to Y. Let's see what we get. And we got ourselves a list. Well, are you really sure? Let's find out. We can type Y. And I get, ah, oh, it is a list after all. Well, what's the next thing we said we wanted to do? Well, first... We created a comma delimited string, and now we split it up, and we put it into a list. Now I'm going to convert that list to a tuple. All right. Hmm. How do you do that? Well, if I just key in tuple, oops, if I just key in, well, you know what's in uh, Y. Y is a list. If I just key in tuple of Y, I really haven't done anything because Y is really still a list. I didn't assign it back to Y. So I'm going to make a separate variable Z. I'm going to say take, uh, take Y and make a tuple out of that and then assign it Take Y, make a tuple out of that, and then assign it back to Z. All right. Let's see what's in Z. Oh, that's a tuple. Type of object that Z is, is class tuple. And that's it. That's all I want to say for now. If you like this uh, video, please rate it. Click on the like button. Uh, I'd appreciate that. And I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.